Hi everyone, welcome back to Acres of Clay. We've gotten some rain. Let me show you. It looks like we've gotten an inch and a tenth. So one inch and one tenth of rain. And that started um, yesterday morning. And it rained on and off yesterday all day. And then in the night, well early this morning, we got another batch of rain where um, I heard a little bit of thunder in the night and then I heard the rain. But today it hasn't rained since I've been awake. And the clouds are starting to break up, so that is good. And it's warming up. It's 70 degrees. I don't even have a sweatshirt on. It, I could probably wear a sweatshirt, but I need to acclimate my body to get it used to, um, to get it used to this warmer weather. I should be, my body should be able to handle 70 degrees, right? You would think. I have all my plants, well most of them, all my plants in my cold frame. They are getting, they're hardening off. They are getting ready to be planted outside and they're still kind of weak. They've never been outside. They've never been in the sunlight or they have never been in the wind. <laughs> so they need to get stronger before I can actually set them out to plant. Hopefully within a week I can do that. I'm gonna show you the main garden. So I have two garden areas. I have the raised bed gardens and then I have my, I call it my main garden. Um, this needs to be tilled. But I need to put some manure down first. I don't know why, but the grass is taken over. It is really bad. Here, let me show you. Here it is. This is this whole square. Look at this. This is all grass growing in here. Oh, this here is my asparagus, and you can see that um, it, it needs to be picked. Some of them do. Um, we've eaten it a couple times, and we could eat again tonight probably. But anyways, yeah, there's a lot of grass coming up here. So I'm going to probably rototill this within the next day or two. But here's my, one of the rows of peas I have. Can you see them? Just starting to pop through. It's about time because I planted them a while ago. So in this box I have lettuce. That looks like kale. Um, there's lettuce over here. You might not be able to see this. But yeah, that's lettuce. That's a cow. But not much else is growing in the garden just yet. Let me show you some new additions I've got. Oh, there's the sun. Oh, nothing like the sun on your skin, I'm telling you. And this tree, this tree has the biggest leaves, look. Wow. These are probably the size of a quarter. <laughs> They, they'll get big. They get big leaves, but man, my trees are really behind. Look it. Say hi. Are you going to come out here? I know, it's kind of muddy though. Yeah. This is one of them. There's another one. And the last one, she's sleeping. What you doing? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Is it that good in here? She's so speckled. It's so cute. I absolutely love the speckles. You want to get up and show us? Show us your speckled cuteness? Hey, baby. Can I come in? Oh, goodness. Is it? Oh, it's nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, oh boy. So these are my three newest ones. Yes. <laughs> Sitting inside the camp hutch, huh? Um, so a lot of you are going to ask why are these in the calf hutches and not in the calf barn with the rest of the herd? These calves came from another farm. So we like to keep them away from our herd. Oh, are you going to get up? And at least for a little bit. But I'm going to raise them in the hutches um, for at least 12 weeks um, where they will eat, sleep, poop, all that good stuff right in here. This is a, a, it's called a calf hutch. It's comfortable. They're out of the elements. 
Um, they have room to go outside. This is pretty spacious. It may not look like it on camera, but I mean, they can, I'm, I'm in here. <laughs> um, they can get up and down and in and out of here without any issues. So yeah, I have three, three new babies so far. Um, I can probably get five more maybe because that's how many hutches I have. So we will see. I don't know exactly if we're going to get eight total or not. Just wait and see, I guess. But for now, we got three new babies. It's nap time. We have had some rain. We, um, the rain gauge is just under three inches. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. No, it's not under three inches, like two and a half inches, I think. Um, and I think the rain is finished, at least I hope so. Definitely not doing any field work anytime soon, but we've got some projects that unexpectedly came about, and I'm gonna show you what that is here in a little bit also. So it looks like we have just over two and a half inches, two, two inches and six tenths of rain um, within 24 hours, pretty much 24 hours. That's um, how much rain we've gotten. And yeah, everything's wet. I explain what happened? Yeah. Um, the tube underneath cracked, must be. There must have been cracked and it cracked some more and some more and today allowed the axle to let loose. So, so the axle broke? And then it pulled. There's a cap here too, which I don't know where it went. There's supposed to be like a cover. Mm -hmm. So pull that off. So 
Hopefully we can get it back into place and re-weld the tube, brace it up for now. So, so that's what I'll be working at. So what about the skid loader though? You got your parts ordered? Yeah, they're supposed to be here. Today um, or tomorrow? I think some today, maybe tomorrow, and some other ones. So. Good but rainy day project. Not what I wanted to work on. No. This ain't. So. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. Trying to shove the axles down. Mm. Um. And they had to put their thinkers on. <laughs> oh, you know we got thinkers. Mm -hmm. What if we took a jack and stuff right in here and push down with that? Mm. Well, you got the short one. Yeah, yeah. Why? Can I push down? Put a block on this side. So close. There you go. So we're going to put a jack in there and see if we can shove. See what happens, I guess. we got to get it down. Got to be out a little bit. It helps to have a handy set of blocks, mm -hmm. all different sizes. Mm -hmm. All right. I like to know when that plate came off, Ethan. It's been a little bit since I last on, talked to you. Yeah. Want to see what you did? Yeah, we put a new cap on the end and uh, re-welded it back together underneath and reinforced it. So. There you go. So.